Are you ready for the worst case scenario? Well, I am ready, just in case anything happens with this coronavirus. As a recent transplant recipient, I am paranoid, y'all. Honestly, I'm freaking out. I really don't know how to feel about this situation because I just got my kidney. I'm not trying to lose this kidney that was just donated to me. If you're battling an illness just like I am, and you may have recently got a kidney transplant, you may want to stick around to see how to protect yourself. This disease seems to cause fever, coughing, and even shortness of breath. But we're still learning about this disease. This is something that is new, it's only been a couple of months, so we're really not too sure how to handle this situation. So if you guys know someone that can benefit from these types of videos, please go ahead and share it with them. And if you're new to my channel, what's up? Take a moment and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell as well. And if you've done that, welcome to the family. All right guys, let's go ahead and get started. So what we do know is it seems that this virus has started in China. Yes, most of the cases have occurred in China, but it's in 40 different countries, including the United States right now. And actually a couple of days ago, we just had our first death in the US. This is something serious that we need to pay attention to. The virus is able to be passed by person to person, by coughing, <coughs> by sneezing, Achoo. and each person's body is different. So how I may take it, somebody else may take it totally different. So stay away from sick people. The virus can also survive for a limited time on commonly touched surfaces. As a kidney transplant patient, we have to be extra careful because there is no vaccine to prevent this currently. So if you don't need to travel, don't. Because right now the airplanes are full of germs. They've always been full of germs, but it's even worse now, guys. The chairs, the seatbelt, the tray in front of you. We have to be careful in what we're touching. Stay out of large crowds because you don't want to come in contact with people that have a respiratory illness right now. So what can you do to start to prevent yourself from getting the coronavirus? So the first thing to do is wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. So avoid touching your eyes, your nose, your mouth with unwashed hands. You want to make sure your hands are clean. Regularly clean common areas. And some of the areas I'm talking about are like your doorknobs, your fixtures, you want to clean these guys, even your countertop. And don't forget to clean your toilets with bleach. Yes, clean those toilets people, clean them. Clean them. Clean them. Eh, clean them. Eh. Be responsible. If you're personally sick, stay at home. Everyone thinks that they may not get this, but we just don't know. So do society a favor and go see your doctor and stay away from us. I know the CDC says don't wear a mask because they're so afraid that, you know, the germs are passing because people are fixing it, fixing their face, putting it on the mask. But for me, I'm wearing a mask. I'm just gonna use hand sanitizer before touching my face. I mean, I do understand their concerns, I really do, but I just wanna be extra protected so I will continue to wear my mask. And they're also telling us that the masks that have the holes inside, the ones at the hospital, they're not even good. And to be honest, they only last a couple of seconds by the time you put it on. Or maybe invest in a proper face mask or get a gas mask, guys. Yes, I said a gas mask. We don't know what's going to happen in this world. So I got to be prepared and make sure my family is all taken care of. So if you're going to doctor's appointments for follow-ups, even going to dialysis for your appointments at the clinic, we are more at risk. So if you start to develop any fever, any shortness of breath, or you got a little cold, please contact a medical provider because this is not the time to take chances. All right, guys, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I just want you to know that I love and I appreciate you. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Christy, 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 Christy,